Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Amanda Sturz's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So, just got back from Chicago, which some of you guys knew I was I left for Chicago for the weekend, kind of our yearly trip, and wanted to show you guys what all I bought while in Chicago, so I'm kind of just doing my like 2015 Chicago trip haul. Um, I do want to say, first off, before I go too far than this, I'm not trying to brag, this is just kind of me showing you guys what I bought, because I know a lot of you guys... Um, who I talked to and whatnot have asked me about what I was gonna, what I bought, and I know last year you guys seemed to like um, kind of the little things I did buy. Bought a lot more li this year than I did last year. So, um, but I'm gonna show you guys everything I got, and um, kind of trying this whole new like let's wear a hat thing. Not sure. I've been wearing it all weekend. I really kind of like it, but we'll see if I continue to wear it. So, um, I'm first gonna start off with my what I got from. Bath and Body Works slash White Barn. Um, it's all actually from from White Barn, but some people don't know that White Barn is the company that makes Bath and Body Works candles. So, with this, I'm showing you guys everything I got from White Barn, and I'm doing this first because I know that um, some of the people who watch who will watch this video are more into it for my what I got from Bath and Body Works. So, or yeah. So anyway, we're just going to kind of dive into this. I bought quite a lot of candles while I was there, but I figured if I was going to White Barn, might as well make it count. So these aren't in any particular order. They just happen to be the ones I'm grabbing off the shelf. So um, first one I got was Pumpkin Apple. This one smells super good. I really, really like this. It's going to be a great fall time scent, and I'm not going to describe every single one. Um, then I got Apple Picking, which I love apple scents. Like, this is just amazing. Um, then I also got Radiant Red Maple. So this one kind of, um, is a little bit sweeter than you would think. Like, you might think it smells like a maple tree or something, but it's actually a little bit sweeter, which I do kind of like that it's a little bit different. Um, from the Core Confined Collection, I got Sparkling Pear Rizzling. Another really, really, really nice one. Um, I got... A lemon cello, and I got it in like the like non pop tails version because I have it already in a pop tail. Um, I just don't want to burn the pop tails quite yet because I really really like that packaging of like the three layers. Um, this one is a pop tails, and I I literally got this because it's a white barn exclusive, and I know this was super sought after. Not 100% sure on how I feel about this. This twisted caramel gelato. I don't hate it. It's growing on me more. It's just it's. Kind of almost like a synthetic sweet. Like, like they're trying to make it sweeter than it is. Maybe it'll be better when it burns, but we'll see. Um, pumpkin Cranberry. So, I think this one might be the, the White Barn exclusive this time around. Because like, it's the Cranberry one. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, marshmallow Fireside. This is a classic Bath and Body Works scent. Love it. It's been a great, it's a great, great scent. It has a little bit of a similar to Bonfire Beach. Um, by Bath and by, or by Sensi, similar to, um, Summer Bonfire, kind of, but they're not exactly the same, but they do have a little bit of a similarity. Um, Los Angeles Palm Trees and Sunshine. This one I know is another, um, White Barn exclusive, and I actually kind of like this. My husband doesn't so much like it, but I like it because it could be a nice, um, scent for in here when I want to burn a candle in here or whatever. Um, then I got a golden cinnamon. This one is super, super nice. It's not super cinnamony like you would think it is. And I got this one mainly because I love the packaging. I love the, like, the ombre glass. Love the, it's a great, great, great scent. It's going to be another great fall scent. Um, this one, another one of the ombre glasses. And it's going to be hard for me to burn this one because... This is Beautiful Day. I love this candle, and I literally thought I bought two of this one, and I didn't. And I'm kind of sad because I really wish I would have bought another Beautiful Day candle. Just because it smells so freaking good. So, I want another one because I, I love the way that the candle and the wax looks in there. And I almost might keep that one unburned. We'll see. Um, I got this one, Lakeside Sunrise. So, this one's super sought after as well. It's supposedly like a... 
not like it didn't pass the test sent or whatever like some white barns got it some didn't it's just kind of finding it where it got sent it's kind of a nice manly scent it's got a little bit of a colony aspect to it um it's gonna be a nice little different candle maybe i'll burn it once in a while we'll see um vanilla pumpkin marshmallow another very classic pumpkiny scent um very sweet very marshmallowy kind of got a little bit of pumpkin in there Pumpkin and coconut, this one was brand new this year, I believe. And it's a weird scent, like you wouldn't think that pumpkin and coconut go together, but they really do, and I really like this. Um, hoping that I can get my hands on another one of those. Brown sugar and allspice. Um, another one that I found out this morning was like a failed test scent or whatever, and that it's not really going to be going anywhere. Like, once it's gone, it's gone. So, I wanted to get that one while I could before it got... Um, taken away. Some of these I know were at White Barn. Some of them I know are at like normal Bath and Body Works. There's not like a definitive. I don't remember every single one that was a White Barn exclusive that wasn't a White Barn exclusive. Um, some of these that I really really like I hope I can find at Bath and Body Works eventually. Another one is Pumpkin Spiced Cheesecake. So with this one I figured the spice would be a little bit too much but I have to have a nice kind of balance to it. Um, I really like this one. It definitely does smell like a pumpkin cheesecake, like straight up pumpkin cheesecake. Then I got apple pumpkin pancakes. Another great apple-y kind of pumpkin you sent. This one me and my husband both like. I like the apple, excuse me, aspect of it. He loves the pumpkin pancake side of it. Bora Bora. This one I do know is another like white barn exclusive. It's a very like light, fresh floral scent. Um, which I was very surprised I liked this because of it being like a floral and I do like it. Um, pumpkin milkshake. I had a really hard time debating back and forth between this and pumpkin coconut. So I just went with both of them. I really like this one though because it's a great like different kind of pumpkin-y scent. Um, then I got autumn. This one smells like apples again. This, yeah, it's got red apple and balsam. It literally smells like apples, which I love. It's very similar to apple picking. Um, not a huge difference. I mean, there's a little bit of a difference, but not huge. And then the last candle I got was Napa Valley Sunset. Out of all the wines, this was like my favorite, favorite one. Um, I think I might have bought another wine one, maybe. Yeah, Sparkling Pear Rizling was the other wine one. But I really did like the Napa Valley Sunset one. And I know this one's available at all Bath & Body Works, so if they have another sale, I might go and get them. What was really cool was when I went, it was shortly after, I went yesterday and today. Yesterday, I only did, I only bought six. Today, I bought 15. And, um, I, the ladies yesterday were the same ladies working today, and they were super, super nice, and they were awesome. And I had made a comment about, um, online doing a flash sale on candles and the lady like the store manager was super nice and she like let me um do a flash sale in store which normally they don't do that so um but she let me do a flash sale so i ended up spending like after tax i ended up doing like four or five separate transactions and after tax and coupon and everything i spent eight dollars and like 36 cents a candle so could not beat that love those those are definitely going to go in the collection um, can't wait to start burning them. I don't want to start burning the fall ones too yet because it's not fall and it would be weird to burn them. So, other stuff I got, um, we'll just kind of get into like the weird stuff. You guys know I'm super weird about stuff and I get excited over the littlest things. So, went to Perfume Mania, looking at all the stuff that they had on the counters and like behind the shelves and whatnot. And one of them I went to had a slipcase for, um, Can Can Burlesque and I freaked out when I saw it and I asked the lady if I could have it. I told her, I was like, I'm an avid perfume collector. I'm very, like, I love the slip covers. I wonder if I could have that. And she said, yeah, as long as I bought something, she gave me a slip cover. So she gave me a slip cover. And then throw on top of that, she gave me like a coupon pack. And I was super excited when I opened this up and found a Passport Paris sample just because that's my favorite of the passports. And I love the weird samples you ever get once in a while. Also, when I was at bathroom at White Barn, I got a White Barn box, which I know this means absolutely nothing to anyone, but to me, it was really cool to get a White Barn box. And I'm where I live, we're getting a White Barn relatively soon. They're actually just closed our Bath and Body Works and um, moved it. 
and they're going to be like they're working on remodeling one right now so but when I was there I got the box and I used the box to hold this so we went to Dave and Buster's and I got this and it's kind of dirty just because I mean I didn't clean it or anything but they had these things called the under over drink so like it had one drink down here and another drink down here and then like they mixed when you drank them. But it was super cool because they were like two different colors and then like they didn't mix somehow. Deals with density and whatnot but I saw it was super cool. The guy told me if I ordered it I got to keep the glass. So, kept the glass. Um, other stuff I bought, um, I bought a mini of Mad Potion just because I saw it and it was super cheap so I bought like the 15 mil. Um, I also, when I was at Ross, I found a 100 mil of Spring Rain, which I was super excited when I saw this. Like, I freaked out when I bought it. It was the only one they had in store, and I just loved it and wanted it so much just because I have one coming eventually from Australia. But I figured, I mean, for the price it was, I figured why not get it. So, um, also got a 100 mil of Tokyo. I have passport Tokyo already but I wanted a hundred mil of it just because I wanted to have hundred mils in all of Paris's um, also bought this gift set for Tokyo or for passport um, I have the little one but I didn't have the big one or the lotion so I wanted to get this for that and it was super cheap and it's also got this as I throw things it's got a very cool ad like a big version of the ad on the back so there's that um, also picked up Kim Kardashian's Glam. I only got this in a 50 mil because I figured it would balance out with, I have 100 mil of Kim, of Kim Kardashian and 100 mil of gold, or 100 mil of love, and then my gold is a 50 mil, so I figured this would balance it out. Um, also got Anna Soy, Anna Sue, I'm not sure how you say her last name, but I got Flight of Fancy. I've seen a lot of her perfumes and like whatnot of her really good reviews on them. So, for as cheap as this was, I figured I would start her collection just because, I mean, most times her bottles are freaking gorgeous. So, I mean, like, this is a beautiful, beautiful bottle. Like, the bottom is pink, and then it ends up, like, creating a cascade effect into the bottle. And you got this cool, like, peacock stopper. I mean, super cool. Boxes are super detailed. Figured, why not? And I know that you can get her rest, the rest of her collection for relatively cheap. So, um... Then when I was at Sears, I found this, and I had to have it, have it, had to have it. They had it on, regular it was 40 bucks, and we had to dig for this. I mean, I found, they had plenty of, first off, Pitbull Miami Woman in a full size. So, they had plenty of Pitbull Miami Man in store, but I could not find any Pitbull Miami Woman. So, we dug and dug and dug and dug and dug, and we found the only one they had in store, and it was retail for 40 bucks and then it was on sale for 34 and then i had a coupon for sears with surprise points and i'm only spending like 25 bucks on this so couldn't complain and then it also came with a mini of miami like the urn of not miami of uh, woman i mean look how cute this tiny little bottle is so you guys know i'm a sucker for minis just like I don't like the like the dabber minis, but I love the like the little like 15 mil sprayers just because I think they're super cute. Um, speaking of Pitbull, I also bought the Pitbull um, Woman Body Mist because I'm kind of really into getting the body mist lately. Also, I found the Paris Hilton with Love Body Mist, and I literally only bought this. Besides the fact it was cheap, I bought this because it was like different from all the other ones. Like it was red, so and I thought that was super cool. Um, I also found, and I was super freaked out when I found out how cheap I got these for. Like, when I found them and saw how cheap they were, I freaked out. So I got Pink Sugar Sensual. I only got the 50 mils, but that's okay. So Pink Sugar Sensual and Pink Sugar Sparks. Um, I know this one's super hard to find for a good price. I spent 20 bucks for both of these, and I just freaked out. Like, I mean, you couldn't be 10 bucks a piece on those. So, also I found this for like 5 bucks. It is the uh, Nicki Minaj fragrance coffee set that comes with like, the three little pins. Uh, I used to have one of these, and then I gave it away in a swap because um, the person I gave it to really wanted it, which I was totally fine with. But then I wanted I wanted it back in my collection. So when I saw it, it was I mean, 
It wasn't one of those things I was going to go out and buy, but when I saw it, I was like, yes, I would love to have that back in my collection. Um, I also got this. It's a gift set for Ivanka Trump. So, this was one of those, like, I had to have it no matter what. So, comes with the 100ml bottle, a lotion, and a uh, little travel sprayer here. And I almost, I passed this up the first time. Um, when I first saw it, I passed it up. And then I went home and I decided to look up Ivanka Trump because I had seen it several times, um, a couple different places, seen it at Perfume Mania, I've seen it a couple other places, and they won like 80 bucks for the gift set. No joke. Like, everyone online I saw, they wanted a lot of money for it. And where I bought this from, I literally got this for 20 bucks. So I couldn't pass up the fact of getting a... And I, I looked up the notes on it and a lot of people said it smelled like vanilla to them. So I ended up buying it and then I got it and I really liked the vanilla aspect to it. So, and then I went to the body shop because my fen friend Finn told me he loves the body shop. So I figured, okay, I'll give the body shop a shot. So we went into the body shop because the mall we went to had um, a body shop on it. I'm trying to figure out which ones were which before I show you guys this. Okay, so that one was that. that, that, that. Okay, so when we went to the actual body shop. I picked up these two, and these were the, this one is Brazilian, Brazil Nut Body Butter, and this one is Coco Mania Body Butter, and I love the body butters, these two were on clearance, I spent 20 bucks for these two, which I know that they're normal $20 a piece anyway, so I figured they were kind of buy one, get one free, and the chocolate one just smells heavenly, and it literally looks like chocolate, like like chocolate mousse or whatever. So I really, really wanted these and figured 20 bucks for two of them wasn't bad. Then on our outings for um, different stores, we went to TJ Maxx and I found these. So I got two of these and these are the Japanese cherry blossom ones. And these were literally $5.99 a piece. Like I could not pass them up for $5.99. Expressly, I mean, I, I love the Japanese cherry blossom scent, but in store they were still full price. So... I was not going to spend 40 bucks for two of these when I spent like 12 for two of them. And then I also found this and I almost bought them all out. I decided to leave at least one in the store for someone else. But I found three more of the Coco Mania body butter. So I have four of these. Like here's three. I have four Coco of the Coco Mania or Chocolate Mania body butter. I love the smell of this. It smells like freaking chocolate. My husband loves the smell of this. It smells like freaking chocolate. So, I figured stock up on it while I could. Probably gonna like raid my local TJ Maxx to see if we get them. And then the one thing that we I did buy that was kind of like local was this thing called Love That Soap Wax Melt. It's in the scent Sweet Pea. And I love this because it, I, as you guys know, Sweet Pea is one of my favorite, favorite scents. And it literally... It's a very well done sweet pea. It's very hard to find um, a local place that does sweet pea very well. And it's just, I mean, amazing. Love this sweet pea scent. I can't wait to put it in my warmers and see how it is. So that is everything I bought on my Chicago trip. I felt like I had more to show. Oh, actually, I bought a selfie stick. Like, literally do not even know why I decided to buy one of these, but I bought a selfie stick. It was like five bucks. I figured, why the hell, why not? So I bought a selfie stick, and I might do like some videos with this with my phone. We'll see. I don't know. It was a lot of fun to actually use in Chicago and like take pictures all around with it. People looked at me weird, but I don't care. So anyway, that is my Bath and Body or my Bath and Body, my uh, Chicago 2015 haul video. As always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, A That Is Perfume, and Instagram, I'm Linda Stars Perfume. There will be more reviews to come soon. Um, if there's any reviews you guys have that you guys want me to do, let me know, and I will do my best to get them done for you guys. So, thanks so, so much for watching. Okay, bye.